Tariq, what are you doing? What's wrong? Look, I, I just came to check if everything was okay. Mm-hmm. Boy, you know you lie like your father. Now, just tell me, why are you really here? Tariq, I can't believe you're here. Are you staying this time? You have to see my new room. Come on, show me. Bye. Some kind of danger? I need to know. I'm not a ghost. I can fix whatever problem. What up, what up? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Oda J, and we are locked in. What we just seen is an exclusive clip between Tariq and Tasha, and I even added a piece of the trailer in there so we can get a full understanding of what's actually going on. Now, Tariq is popping back up to see Monet. This is probably because there's a lot of drama going on. He did get Diana pregnant, and at this moment, we don't know if the baby is going to make it or not, even though there are photos bouncing around the web. You know we got them. But before we jump into all of this, we break down this clip between Tasha and Tariq. If you like power content, breakdowns, theories, and predictions like this, then you're at the right spot. Hit that subscribe button, turn on your notification bell so you get something every time I upload. Make sure you hit that like button. And I'm on that road to 50,000 subscribers, and we need about 80 more. We're almost right there to so help your brother out. But now, let's jump into it. This is the exclusive clip between Tasha and Tariq and what's going on in episode 7. Tariq shows up to Tasha's house. Now, it looks like Tasha has upgraded and she's living way more comfortably than she used to. So, of course, the first thing that she sees when Tariq is at the door is her son. But then she goes into mother mode. Tariq, what is wrong? Because the only time we've seen Tariq popping up on Tasha is when something is going down or she might potentially be in danger. We know about her situation at work and we don't think that that's going down anymore because Tariq set her manager straight. But as I mentioned in the intro, Tariq has a huge problem. We got Noma, but then we got the baby mama and we got the crooked cop. Then we got the devilish grandma Monet. So Tariq, he's just trying to navigate through this. With no proper guidance, he's kind of lost. And your mother, you always run to. Now they call us mama boys, but hey, I can't help that. That's my mother and I love my mother. Same for Tariq because his dad is gone. He did that. When Tariq first arrives to the house, he's hesitant to tell his mom what's going on. Tasha can sense that he's lying, and she even says he lies just like his father Ghost did. Now, the reason Tariq doesn't want to tell her exactly what's going on is because he knows he shouldn't be involved in all of this, and the end goal was him being able to get his inheritance from his father to be able to take care of his mother and sister. But right now, it doesn't look like graduating from Stansfield is actually in the play or the near future for Tariq. We don't know what his grades look like. Hell, we don't even know if he even goes to class anymore. But we do get a glimpse of young Yaz. And Yaz ain't a baby no more. There was a moment where Yaz was a baby, almost about to die by swallowing a little dolphin. Now Yaz is about 13, 14 years old, telling Tariq, you got to see my room. That's the main reason Tariq isn't telling Tasha what exactly is going on. He doesn't want her to look at him sideways because he knows what he needs to achieve and that's graduating so the whole family could benefit from it. But we do hear Tasha say you lie like your dad. And another reason Tariq isn't telling Tasha this is because think about it. All of it goes back on her. She went to go shoot at Monet and guess what? Now Tariq is back working with Monet, working with Diana, working with Drew and working for Noma. Not to mention the elephant in the room the lady I had you go shoot, mom, her daughter, well, she's pregnant by me. Now, I don't believe that the baby's going to make it. So he just doesn't want to let Tasha down, and he feels like he has to fill those shoes. This is Power Book 2 Ghost. He's supposed to be the next ghost. He's trying to be the man and take care of his family. But we see seeing that everything keeps backfiring in every angle he goes at. Believe it or not, Tasha is willing to get in here and make this happen. Any way she can help Tariq out, she definitely will. We just spoke about her riding on Monet. Now hearing Tariq say, I'm not ghost, I'll actually fix this. I think he goes ahead and tells her, hey, listen, there's a dirty cop. Diana was pregnant. We're going to try to go and handle that. And that's where the whole conversation comes from. I'm trying to fix this or I'm going to get us from up under Noma. Now, Tasha, we know Tasha isn't the best mother. So I could see her saying, Tariq, you don't need to do it. But once she sees that Tariq is sold and this is what he's going to do, he made up his mind, she's going to go ahead and support anything that Tariq is about to do pertaining to going after Noma, setting up Monet, going to get this dirty cop. Plus, Tasha, she's in witness protection. 
So she has a whole new identity. She can't even leave if she wanted to. I'm sure they're watching her closely at this point after those two marshals were unalive. All right, there you go. A quick breakdown of the exclusive clip between Tasha and Tariq. And I even threw the trailer part in there where we see Tariq saying he isn't ghost. He can fix it. Now, let me know what situation is Tariq talking about? Is it going after Felicia the dirty cop? Is it handling in a situation with his baby mother and his baby mother's mother? Or is this a bigger picture that he's telling her, listen, me and Davis, we got to deal with Noma and we're going to get this money and get us up out of it. Let me know what you think. This is the exclusive clip between Tasha and Tariq going into episode seven. I'm old IJ. We're on that road to 50,000 subscribers. So if you could do me a favor, hit me that subscribe button, hit my like button. And hey, thanks for watching. I'm out.